Hi all folks, this is Max from uh, RootKindleFire.com So today we're going to root our Kindle Fire Again, this is like my sixth time today um, Using Linux or Mac um, I'm using Linux, but it should be nearly identical um, for Mac So first thing what you're going to do is uh, hit that button, hit more and uh, under device you should see that um, you have system version 6.2.1 or later. If you don't, do a update your Kindle so you have the latest version. Um, also, um, make sure allow installation of applications is on. Just hit that button and say OK. And by the way, the touch screen has improved a lot on the new um, update by, by Amazon. Congrats. Um, next, what we're going to do is we're going to connect it to our Linux or Mac computer via a micro USB cable like that alright and then we're going to set it aside you get this sign alright we're going to set it aside I'm going to put it over here. and let's go to our computer and uh, if you that's my Kindle Fire directory uh, I'm going to leave that closed and go download Kindle Fire root new dot zip, okay? And download it and uh, unzip it, all right? And hit extract. It'll be similar on a Mac or anywhere else. Um, I'm just gonna put it to my desktop and extract. And uh, oh, you know what? It's supposed to put it in a folder. Um, I did it wrong, kind of. Ah, God, I did it wrong. Do that again, um, put it on a folder, give it a folder name, create a folder. Um, Kindle, fire, root, root new, put it in that folder. That'll make it easier. Okay. And show the files. And I'll have a new folder called um, Kindle, fire, root. Um, oh, is that my desktop? Next, uh, we're going to go to our computer and go download Kindle Fire root new.zip and you're going to unzip it. Um, usually if you double click, you can unzip it. Extract, um, desktop, um, all right, and uh, let's create a folder called uh, Kindle Fire root new, like that. And then we're going to extract it into that directory. So we don't have files going everywhere. Extract. All right. Show the files. So now you'll see that I have a new folder called Kindle Fire Root New. Inside I have all of these files. Um, that's all we need to do for now. Um, next, what you're going to do is um, copy over Kindle Fire Root. Do a right click, copy. And go to open up your Kindle. There we go. And then do a right click and paste. And uh, I already have it copied over, that's why I'm getting this. You shouldn't get this, but I'm just going to replace it. Alright, and once that's done, um, we're going to go to our Kindle Fire. Alright. And um, you're going to go disconnect. Alright, go to home, go to apps, go to the store. And download this file uh, app called ES File Explorer. Just type ES, hit the search button. Um, you see the ES File Explorer. Hit install. Install. What happened? There we go. And install. And this allows you to browse your um, inside of your internal storage of your Kindle Fire. And once that's done, open the app, and it should bring you into the internal storage. Um, you can hit the upper right button to see the actual names. And we're going to choose the Kindle Fire root.apk. Install. Open. Agree. You rock root. 
exit. That's it. Leave it aside. It's still connected to your computer. And let's go back to our computer. Next, uh, you're going to go to your uh, computer and open up a terminal. Um, terminal. Okay. So I'm going to open up a terminal. And let me zoom in here so you can see it a little bit better. And here we're going to go enter the direct, direct directory where we copy the unzip the Kindle Fire root new this one. So it's going to be under desktop um, Kindle Fire root new like that. Something similar to that on the Mac too. Enter. And uh, you're going to do CD USB underscore driver like that, right? All right. And then what you're going to do is type uh, MKDIR um, the squiggly and do um, slash dot android. This makes a dot android folder in your user directory. Um, if you already have it, that's good, that's fine. That error message, you can just ignore it. And then type cp android underscore win usb. No, that's not it. cp uh, adb underscore US, uh, usb dot ini. And you can do the squiggly slash dot android slash dot like that and, and and this will copy the adb underscore usb dot ini all right next we're going to type um dot ch uh type cd slash dot dot like that and then you can type ch mod 755 star this allows you to um execute any of the files in this directory and then what you're going to type is um adb dot slash adb dash uh, linux for mac change that to mac um, linux and space um, root all right and enter and you should get a permission um, insufficient permission um, what you might want to do is um, do sudo minus i and get super user permissions first. So I'm gonna try that. And that might be by for, for Linux. It should work fine on Mac, I think. Um, we're gonna have to go back to my home directory again. Home Max desktop. Since I'm in a uh, root user, I'm gonna have to go there. And then I'm gonna have to copy over the USB um, drivers file again. Driver C, uh, MKDIR squiggly slash dot android always already exists um, cp adb underscore usb dot ini um, squiggly slash dot android slash dot oh I forgot a dot there alright so that copied it over and let me try that again next you do dot slash adb dash linux and devices you should get device if you get no permissions um make sure you have super user access root and also you can try rerunning the root program there and once you've done that um we're ready for the next step uh, of rooting so we'll do this type adb root oops sorry dot slash adb linux root and adb dash mac for mac Oh, this is focused. All right, and then we'll say that, and then do adb dash Linux uh, remount. Whoops. And enter, and it says remount succeeded. And then do dot slash adb dash Linux push. You can uh, copy and paste this. I'll have this uh, where you can copy it. Slash system slash xbin slash su like that all right and next we're gonna do um dot slash adb dash linux space shell chown 0, 0.0 space slash system slash xbin slash su and enter all right and next we're gonna type adb shell space chmod 06755 
um, slash system slash xfin slash su. Oops, sorry, that's just, that should be dot slash adb dash Linux like that. All right, and then we're gonna install um, dot slash adb dash Linux install super user dot apk. This will install the super user um, files. All right, and once that's done, we're gonna type um, dot slash adb dash Linux shell. I'll remember all the Linux part, you can remove it with Mac for Mac. And this will get you into shell. You see we have super user. When you have the panel sign, instead of the dollar sign, that means you have super user. Um, now we're gonna not stop here. We're gonna actually install um, the, the files uh, for Torb recovery. So type IDME space boot mode space 4002. All right, and then we're gonna type um, reboot. And this will reboot your Kindle Fire into um, fast boot mode. So next we're gonna type dot slash um, fast boot um, dash Linux or Mac if you're using Mac and space dash I space zero times 1949 space boot space TWRP dash blaze dash 2.0.0 rc0 dot img and enter and it's downloading boot dot img and it's going to install the um twerp recovery and uh, you can you can reboot and give it a second it'll install it And reboot. And it'll get stuck in that mode. So go back to your command prompt. And lastly, we're going to type dos slash fastboot dash Linux. Don't forget to replace Linux with Mac for Mac users. Minus I, space 0 times 1949, space OEM, space IDME, space, oops, IDME, space boot mode. Space 4000. I have all this um, on my site, so you can just copy and paste. Enter. And if it says OK, you're all good to go. Um, you can do dot slash fastboot dash Linux. Oops, fastboot dash Linux reboot to reboot, or you can hold down the power button to reboot. But I'll do that, and that will reboot your um, Kindle Fire now. You can access the Clockwork Mod, not Clockwork Mod, Twerp Recovery by pressing the power button until it turns orange um, to access the recovery during boot or you can leave it on um, and it will boot into your regular Kindle Fire now you've got it rooted a rooted Kindle Fire um, just some to take notes on is that you should be have super user access on your Ubuntu Linux um, when you try to do the commands otherwise you'll get no permissions error uh, I'm not sure about Mac is there a root option I don't have a Mac so but um, it should be identical just replace fastboot dash Linux with fastboot dash Mac and also ADB dash Linux with ADB dash Mac and I have super user um, and I'm all good to go and I can start I can try loading one of my um, set CPU a rooted app and install it and see if I get the uh, message asking for super user permission. So I'll open it. Auto text speeds, okay. And hit allow. And you should be all good to go. Um, thanks to guys at Android Police and Roots Wiki for getting this done. Thanks you guys and subscribe.